learn how to fly a helicopter, how long is the training going to take? That is a frequently asked question that we get a lot. And that's a common question, of course. People want to know how long is it going to take me to get my private pilot rating. I'm Kenny Keller, the creator of Helicopter Online Ground School and author of the Amazon bestseller Helicopter Checkride. So the first thing to consider is the FAA requires a minimum of 40 hours to get the rating. The average person is going to take more like 60 to 70 hours to complete the rating. Now, it could be more, could be less, but 60 to 70 hours is a good average. So we'll use 60 for an example. If you fly once a week, that is going to take you well over a year to complete. If it takes you around 60 hours, hour a week, 52 weeks in a year, it's going to take you well over a year. If you fly three times a week, which I recommend, it seems to work out pretty good about three times a week, that is going to take you about five months to complete the training. Now, that is if you show up every time and the aircraft is always good and the weather's always good, but that's not realistic. So there's some other things that you have to consider. One of those being your self-study habits. You're going to have a lot of studying that you're going to have to do on your own. You're going to have ground one-on-one -on -one with your instructor. So that's a big one, your self-study habits. Another one is time available. How much time do you have? You have to consider you have work, you have a job, you have family possibly. There's other things that are going to cause you to maybe take longer than what you really want to. Financial issues. That's a big one for a lot of people. Most of the people struggle to get all the money around and that can take you some extra time too. So if you have all the money up front, you can just start going through the training that's going to make it a little bit easier. If you have to stop to borrow, beg, steal, and get more money to keep going, then that's going to take you a little extra time as well. Weather issues. Depending on where in the world you're flying, maybe you're in a place that has great weather every day, but most likely, probably not. So weather issues is another big one. Aircraft maintenance. Helicopters by nature require a lot of maintenance. Not only scheduled maintenance, but then unscheduled maintenance. When they break down, it's just part of the machine. It's part of it. So know in advance, there's going to be days you're going to show up and the aircraft doesn't start. Or you find something on pre-flight that makes the aircraft unairworthy and you have to bring the mechanic in. So aircraft maintenance is another big one. So the same thing relates if you're going to go for commercial, certified flight instructor. There's a lot of different things that are going to play a role in how long this is going to take you. It took me four years from the beginning of training to get to certified flight instructor. Like a lot of people... I had my struggles along the way, whether it was money or the first check ride that I failed or family issues. There's lots of reasons why sometimes the training slows down and that's just the way it is. So there's one way that you can accelerate your training and save money and that is with our helicopter online ground school. We recently had one of our members that used our training to prepare himself prior to showing up to take his helicopter lessons. And he got through the rating in three weeks, which is totally incredible. It's amazing feat by this young man. I'm going to share with you a message that I got from Johan's instructor that explains how he did it. I recently taught a student of mine at our school. He was doing a private pilot and three-week course that we offered, which is an extenuous course. It's super fast. I have to do a lot of training with the students and get them up to par within the three weeks because most of them have come on visas so they don't have much time to spend. A particular student of ours, his name was Johan van der Walt, he came to our school and I set him down with ground school with another instructor of ours and the first day I looked in his folder and it said review. Well I figured that the instructor wasn't doing their job so I looked in and I scheduled my own ground school with him and sure enough it was a review. I was appalled by all the knowledge that he had I, and I asked him, hey man, what did you do? Well, he said, well, this helicopter online ground school thing. He's like, it's awesome. You get on there and uh, he was like, it takes you everything that you even need to know. And I said, wow. We quizzed for a little while and I figured, hey, he's pretty content. I would I would leave it at that. He can go on for his check ride. I'll give him the sign off for his oral part. So a couple days later, I told him, hey, get your written knocked out. He got his written knocked out. We flew for the whole entire three weeks and he finished it up. The easiest student that I had, it was an honor for me to work with him because he already knew everything that he was talking about. Uh, super easy gentleman to get along with. He passes oral perfectly, passes flight tests perfectly. He had no stress throughout the whole entire three weeks because all he had to focus on was the flying because like I said, he got his written test done within the, the first three or four days that he was there. So that was awesome job on his part. An awesome job on Kenny's part. So if you're interested in learning more about our Helicopter Online Ground School, click the link either beside, below, or on the face of this video. Please give us a like and a share. Leave your comments down below, and we'll see you in the next video.